What is up, you guys? What is T? I'm your girl Ono, oh, and welcome to the Jam Tuesday Recap. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Man, before I speak on Tuesday or anything else for that matter, I gotta say something about this. Now we all know that I am no fan of Five Babe nor Babe Nation. But child pornography and sexual innuendos and advances made towards children, I do not and will not tolerate it. I don't promote it. I don't anything it. I stand 1000% against this bullshit. This is fucking ridiculous. I don't have hate in my heart for that woman, nor her child, and nobody deserves this shit. And whoever the fuck is behind it, I hope they find your fucking IP address, AS motherfucking AP, you sick bitch. Now let's have a little fun. I was out in YouTube streets yesterday, cruising around, and I ended up on Mass Choir Avenue. And I seen Holiday Hart over there windmilling for his motherfucking life by himself. Oh, man. For somebody that don't have to explain shit and got it all and know it all, this motherfucker was backpedaling. Pussy popping. Backpedaling. Pussy popping. All over the motherfucking place. He was windmilling and backpedaling and pussy popping all three at the same damn time. Let me tell you. Every now and then, Sean Bradley will come on these damn streets and grace us with his presence early. And we got a little bit of taste of that yesterday. He got on his platform and broke down the whole definition of the 501, the 5013, and the deed. If you did not see it, please get over there and get the true meaning behind what the fuck is going on right now. I think we've been bamboozled. I think we've been bamboozled. When Holiday told us he couldn't wait to get to church the other day because he was ready to get that good coin, he meant what the fuck he said. Oh, it's some shit going on. I smell a little audit on the way. Mmm, mm 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 So after he heard what Sean Bradley had to say about the 501 and the 5013, this motherfucker was livid! <laughs> he got up on his platform, and like Miss Mature said, he got louder and louder and louder and louder. Oh my God, he was fucking pissed. Listen to this bullshit real quick. <laughs> That's two. Oh, God, that was a long one. That's three. That's four. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. He wouldn't even let him tell that damn lie without interfering in that. Did you see it? Look at God. <laughs> Sitting up there telling all them damn lies about to get your ass electrocuted and shit. <laughs> you know how people be lying and shit and they be like, may God strike me down. This nigga almost got struck. 
That motherfucker got nervous and pissed at the same damn time. That bald head got to sweating. The sweat started dripping inside of the motherfucking court. <laughs> damn it, Holiday. And I almost want to feel sorry for him, but I can't. Because even in the midst of all this shit coming out, he's still being a damn dickhead. He's still over there talking shit about Joyce and S. Hutchison and Sean Bradley and fucking Vegas and King Jobs. That ain't got shit to do with the church's money. What's going on? What's the real tea, girl? Come on, spit it out. Spill it. Next up, Tara Lon, the best voice on YouTube. Well, hello. And Mr. Larry Cussamount Nelson. I'm gonna get their two asses in the middle of a fucking empty fucking flea mart parking lot and let them whoop each other's ass. These two will fight about any goddamn thing. Are y'all seriously fighting over who is faking their voice? Girl. Girl. He said this shit so nice, I had to play it more than twice. If you want to do this little beef thing, we can. I ain't got nothing else to do. You're a sad, pathetic, punk, pathetic, punk individual. So, okay, be a man around your mom, okay? She doesn't understand the LGBT logic or whatever. You're a sad person, okay? So we can do this all day. You can make any video about me if you want. It doesn't matter. One thing about it, my mom's not ashamed of me. My mother loves me. My mother thinks the world of me, okay? Uh, Arctic Fox, yes, he is, he is, he loves me. He loves me and he wants me bad, but I, I don't go that route. But he can't be red. I've already read you, I've already interviewed your mom, you sad man. So whatever, do right by your mom, she hates you, she is ashamed of you. And you're gonna give that woman, uh, sadness to her grave knowing that she died, or her soul was truly, truly, truly an American punk. Sad. Now, before I even get into this, doesn't Booger look just like Carlton from The Fresh Prince? They look, look at this side by side, they look just alike. It's not unusual. All jokes aside, I really do feel like when Larry talks about Terralon, because he knows that Terralon is passive aggressive, and he's one of those content creators who's not invested in YouTube that much, to the point where he feels the need to get on here and be cussing people out and giving a constant rebuttal and starting a bunch of shit, that's not his style. And I think that Larry uses that to his advantage. I think that what he said to Terralon was very mean, very disrespectful, and very deep. When you're involving someone's mother in the relationship that they have with their mother, that's kind of fucked up. And we can all see the difference between the way Larry talks to Terralon versus the other homosexual men in this sector. It seems like he's very demeaning towards Terralon, and he would like to be demeaning to the rest of the homosexual men as well, but he knows that he's going to get that work, and he does not want that work. In my opinion, I do think Larry Nelson is extremely homophobic and it's kind of hard to tell whether he wants to fight Terralon or fuck him. Next up, we got this little chocolate teddy bear to Sean Farley. He wants to know, why do we have to dim others' light to feel better on YouTube? In a nutshell, not verbatim, he says that every time he hears someone get pleasure out of someone else's pain, a piece of him dies. How sweet is that? <laughs> I really have it for him. He's adorable. He's just so sweet. He's like the virgin around here, you know? And I was thinking about the way he felt. And I'm like, well, for him to feel this way and to just be totally anti against dimming others' light to make yourself feel better, the person who he happens to be the closest to on here does that a lot of times and more than others, in fact. So I found that quite interesting that he feels this way. I don't think it's going to be long before there's a division. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Next up, we have Miss Sexy Clean. Miss Se 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 Sexy Clean. Kiss my 
<laughs> Not only was Miss Nicole on one this weekend, but it looks like she's going to be on one the whole damn month. Here we go again. My fucking notifications dinging, 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 dinging. I go on and see her ass sitting in the middle of fucking Subway, flipping a bird. She was in there talking about some, this young man don't know me. I will go off up in here because I am the ruler. Now, he's disrespectful. He don't know how to talk to his elders. The customer is always right. Mm. And then she says, I shouldn't have let him fix my sandwich. I should have let that other young man do it. You're damn right you should have fucking sexy clean. You know why? Because the minute you blinked your eyes, he was probably spitting to and fro. When you talk shit to people, Nicole, you can't be letting them fix your motherfucking food. And I know they're standing in front of your face at Subway, but believe me, he had to turn his fucking back to put that shit in the toaster, didn't he? We don't know what happened. Now, as much as I hate to have to do this, I'm kind of going to have to go back to this only because it aligns with what I'm about to say next. Last night, I was watching me some Spill It Boy TV, and he was spilling it. The live was titled, let me holler at you real quick, Nicole. And when he spoke, he spoke about this weekend and how Miss Nicole was on one. Not only was she on one, in a nutshell, not verbatim, she mentioned quite a few times that she had someone who was going to handle Spill It Boy TV. She also mentioned the fact that she wanted Spill It Boy TV to give a response to the young man who's going to be doing this handling. Who is the young man, you ask? None other than Mr. Rick Reed. Former moderator for Miss Rita of Rita Nation. And we all knew Spill It Boy TV was not going to take that too kindly. And he expressed that it would be handled accordingly. So the live that was titled, let me holler at you real quick, Nicole. The live was expressing that it was being handled accordingly due to the series of events that we are all seeing play out right now. Now I got to direct your focus back to this awful shit right here again. It says, I am back. You mess with Nicole, so now you will all suffer. Five Babe's daughter is first. Follow me to watch Five Babe pimp her daughter. Now, Miss Nicole did a live earlier yesterday explaining that she had nothing to do with this and wanted no parts in this. When Spill It Boy did his live, he also said that he thinks and believes that Nicole has nothing to do with this. I myself am saying right here and now, I don't believe Miss Nicole has anything to do with this either. And I absolutely hate the fact that her name is even affiliated with this nonsense. And Spill It Boy TV was expressing that this could be Nicole's karma. The whole time you wanted someone to come for me and to have someone handle me, you might have been the one who gotten handled. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Now, I personally have no problems with Rick Reed. Rick Reed, congratulations on your growth and development on YouTube. I know that you're not new to this, you're true to this, but please proceed with caution. That's not just for you, that's for everyone. Miss Nicole as well, myself included, everybody who's listening and under the sound of my voice included. Please move and proceed with caution. This is one of those situations where you have to put your personal feelings for people on the back burner and focus on the bigger picture. I do not promote child pornography in any shape, way, form, or motherfucking fashion. I think it's fucking disgusting. And I don't give a fuck how I feel about this woman. That is not going to affect the feelings and emotions and the fucking integrity that I have towards children. I'm not here for it. And I'm guessing whoever did this shit thought that they were going to earn some type of fucking cool points for doing this bullshit. Nah, fam. You don't get it here. Sorry. You ain't going to never get it here. Not like that you ain't. Urgh, and as much as I hate to end it on a sour note, that is the conclusion of my Tuesday recap. 
believe you me, I had a little bit more shit to talk, but I ain't gonna do it. And I'm gonna let my man King Jives tell you why. Bitch, cause I'm a nice person. Bitch, cause I'm a nice person. Bitch, cause I'm a nice person. I can't sit up here and tell you what Nate Rob told me about that damn banana bag. As bad as I wanted to tell you about the motherfucking banana bag, I can't. Bitch, cause I'm a nice person. <laughs> I can't do it, y'all. Maybe another day, but today ain't that damn day. I hope that you all enjoy this wonderful, short, we're going to claim that in advance, short Wednesday. We are almost there, y'all. Hold on tight. Friday is around the damn corner. I'm going to see y'all later. All right, okay. One more time for the road. One, two, three. Bitch, because I'm a nice person. <laughs> As always, if you like what I'm kicking out, please like, share, and subscribe.